Let's cheese this. Hello, Poppet. I don't think I've ever been in this cave. All right, where the hell is this going to go? Spider? Oh shit. We do have to keep him in the reticle. Okay. There's a Mercer Spear up there. I'm not really going to mess with that, I don't think. Strange rock formations. I got to tell you, man, that is just the best thing since sliced bread. Wait a minute. Oh, do we have another fart plant? Yeah. You know, I should have actually made a gas mask to bring with us. I didn't even think about it. I can make them, but just didn't think about it. All right, there's a slug there. Two slugs and some spideys. Three slugs. Okay. This is quite the cave, man. Four slugs. Five slugs. Damn. All right, we're going to need... Some foundations for this. I should be fine with just normal, uh, normal foundations. There are only blue slugs, but man, there is a hell of a lot of them. <laughs> Get to this one from here. Nope. All right. Nice. So we we pulled at least five slugs out of here. I guess... Oh, there's one more up there, too. Look at that. So we pulled at least six slugs, right? Six or seven. 
I mean, I already had a few with me from before, but I don't remember um, exactly how many, right? So you guys may have been counting it, but I think I think we got at least six slugs out of here, maybe even seven. But I think that's the end of the cave. Definitely worth coming down here to get that stuff, though. Okay, out of the cave. Got some iron nodes over here. Let's pull our scanner out. No hard drives in range, okay. Mercer Sphere. And a bad bad. Just a little bad bad though. Get wrecked, dude. Uh yellow slug up there. Whoop. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Just a safe. After that crash earlier, I'm a little. Concerned. Taking a look around. Uh, I remember that crater, actually, from before. Except for I don't... I think they've changed the way it looked a little bit, though. But, yeah, I do remember a big crater over here. And it looks like it's got limestone down there and maybe some other resources. Let's go to the map for a minute. Yeah, let's let's just go over here to uncover it on the map. I don't remember this little pond though. But here again, I, I I'm pretty sure that I didn't explore the entirety of the grass uh, or what is it called, grasslands or whatever. My first time. Oh, here we go. I have a uh, question. Oh, wrong weapon. How far away do we have to be for the scanner to detect the drive? Let's test that. Oh, your giblets dropped up here, didn't they? Grab this blue slug first. Okay, so if we take this out, okay, so it shows us the drive there. So let's go back this way.
Okay, it starts to detect it from way back here. And okay, so this is about where it gets out of range. So if we look to the east, that drives right about here. So it looks like our scan radius is about that big on the map. It's good to know. Honestly, I think I think it should be a little bit bigger than that, but it is what it is. All right, you need 40 megawatts of power. We can do that. Voila. That was easy peasy. I think we'll just leave the resources here. I'll do a better job um, <clears throat> in our new, in, when 1.0 comes out about marking hard drives that we've already gotten. I kind of didn't do that in this playthrough, but there's no way we're going to get all of them anyway uh, for the rest of this playthrough. Okay, are those dudes guarding something? Like a slug or anything? Uh, not that I can see. Let's go ahead, though, and just use... Whoops. Some normals, because I got a bunch of these, and I'm... Running... Uh, gonna run, run low on the other stuff. I mean, this certainly works. It's just faster and easier to use the exploding rebar. Whereabouts are we? Okay, so we're there. Why don't we go this way and just uncover that other little spot on the map just to do it? Got a Mercer Sphere down there. Okay. All right. Okay. This goes down into that valley with the two abyss holes, uh, which I've actually been down there. I came through there on the on a trip back from a, a big exploration thing we did at one point. So we just need to get across to over to there. Okay. There's a copper node here and a whole bunch more fart, fart rocks. There's a slug down that way. All right, so I think we can pretty much safely say we've uncovered the map uh, over in this area. That's like the little juniper area. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but that's kind of what I think of it as. We have a couple of uh, blue slugs over this way. Let's go grab them. One down there on the cliff and one right up here. But yeah, this is fun, man. I hope I hope you guys enjoy these exploration episodes too. It's just kind of changing things up a little bit and seeing this really beautiful world. And also doing practical things too because, you know, we're finding hard drives and whatnot, so definitely not a waste of time by any definition. And 
and I just really enjoy it, you know? Especially with these new weapons, man. These are fun. <laughs> okay, so let's see how. Let's get back up here. And, um... Let's go directly east. Looks like I did mark a hard drive there. So, no, yeah. Let, let's do this. Let's go south and uncover this area, and then we'll cut up north to hit this hard drive. I think that's what we'll do. We have a plan. A blue slug up there. You can really travel for a long way uh, on one charge as long as you, uh, you know, just kind of tap the space bar. Very good. All right, let's look at the map. Yeah, that's pretty much the direction we want to go in. Um, what's up here? Oh, is it just a blue slug? No, it's a yellow. All right, well, that's definitely worth, whoops, uh, getting. There you go. Just a little spot down there, but that's okay. So let's go this way. See, I know for sure I've never been in this area. Or if I was, I have no recollection of it. Get back to you. Uh, here's something, but I think it's... Oh, yeah, it's a slug. The Mercer Spheres and the Summer Sloops have the same kind of... Uh, or at least a very similar sound to the slug, so sometimes it can be hard to tell. Tell them apart. Let's get a full charge before we go up and grab that one. There's the famous arch of the grassy fields. That's a Mercer sphere down there. Grab some berries while we're here. Bam, it's lots of berries. Let's go down here. Interesting trees here. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. And then that just goes off into the abyss.
I wonder if um, they'll include in the story uh, anything about these abysses. I mean, why does this planet have such incredibly deep holes that you you know you can't see the bottom? It'd be interesting if if they do something with that uh, in the in the story. Normal sulfur mode, a uh, node rather. Then we got these purple plants. These are interesting. Huh. Guess we'll grab the summer sloop. This is very interesting territory. Oh, hey, look what I just found. Very nice. They don't have a... They don't seem to have any large hogs in the grassy fields. I mean, I haven't seen one yet, anyway. Game save. Uh, no, I'm not going to pick those up. I got circuit boards coming out my ears, man. What do you need? Just some screws. We got them. Cool. So that gives us uh, two... Oh, you know what we should be doing? We should be putting those in the MAM because we don't need to hang on to them for research any longer. Uh, wait. Nope, that's not the MAM. This is the MAM. Uh, where are we at? Hard drive. Got too much shit in my inventory. I can't click that in there? Oh, I guess I don't need to. I just do that. Okay. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And let's just get rid of the summer sloop. Oh. Can I drop it on the ground? Don't care about that. Get rid of the flowers. If we do need power later on, we'll just pick some stuff at that point in time. All right, so we have a few slots left. All right, we wanted to kind of work our way north to hit this hard drive up here, so let's do that. Very fascinating, though. Right, okay. Hi, Lizard Doggo. Maybe someday we'll go back and see if our tamed Lizard Doggo is still hanging out. Haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> but I guess they just kind of stay in the area that you tame them in, you know? And there's not really any way he would be able to get back to us. This is really cool, man. I didn't know there was like this purple forest with these Venus flytrap pitcher plant thingamadoodles. Off the look on the map uh, on like the wiki and find out what this biome's called. It's very neat though. How did that not kill you? Is there anything significant up here with the fart plants? I don't know. Seems like there might be 
something down in a hole or something? Oh shit. Uh, I believe there was a spider down there. That means there's got to be something significant down there. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, there's definitely like a a wall to break in. I keep forgetting I gotta hold the button down first. Oh, okay. Where's my rifle? Get the rifle out. <laughs> that is just too good, man. Too good. What happened to that third one? It's always three. We only killed two. Oh, there you are, you little fucker. Alright, we gotta actually kill that. It's, um... Producing those little fuckers. Hmm. So we... Oh, here it is. Okay. I was gonna say, I saw some destructible rocks and it looks like there's yellow slug okay, let's go down there guess the slug's still buried underneath here There it is. All right, so that whole business was for a yellow slug. Gotcha. Is that a cave that goes somewhere? There's spiders in this cave. Lots of spiders in this cave. Makes me wonder what else is in this cave. Okay, let's grab the giblets. Uh, why can't I pick those up? I don't know. See what the hell's going on. Did I get him? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those are bugged. The bugs are bugged. Oh, this is cool looking in here. Unfortunately, it's just a Mercer Sphere, though, and not a Slug. Um, and then, of course, you know, lots of Mycelium, but we don't really need that right now. Let's pull this out and see if there's... Oh, look at that. Okay. I, I think that one's further away. So, it's this direction. This way. Oh shit! That scared the hell out of me. I heard the pitter paddle patter of evil little feet. Where are you at? if we got that plasma spitter or not. Uh, I think we probably did because we're not coming back. Mam research is done. Yeah, whatever. We'll let him go. One of the recipes that I actually want to grab that we've seen before but that I've passed up on is the one that lets you use... Uh, I think it's called the wet concrete because it's a really good one to use to get rid of excess water. So let's see what we got here. Alternate turbo heavy fuel. Okay, so that you oh that uses oil residue. Hell yeah. Uh Coke steel ingot. And what's this? This is classic battery. I, this seems really good. I mean, just because we can make the best fuel in the game with a byproduct, I'm taking it. Sweet. Okay, let's do the next hard drive. I'm happy that we got that. Um, so, you know what that means is... We, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a permanent turbo, uh, turbo fuel production where I currently have it set up, except for that we can remove the first refinery because we can do it directly off of the oil residue instead of having to first make fuel. Yeah, that's nice. And we'll just turn that into a permanent thing. Um, I am going to have to... I'm going to have to route empty canisters to it, though, but I can figure that out. Because we're also making empty canisters, too, so... 
Oh, that was great. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's pull this back out. Uh, I'll bet you it's going to be up on this cliff. All right, so let's see if we can get up here. Yeah, I, I believe I see it up there. Well, actually, I guess I don't know for sure if I see it, but... Can we walk around this way to get to it? Let's get up here. Yep, there it is right there. to this. Okay. Oh, I love that. Look at the view from up here, man. Very cool. Okay. Uh, hard drive. Where, where, where are you at, man? You are... I don't know. Where is it? Of course it's up here. Why wouldn't it be? You need only 20 megawatts. Okay, we can do that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll we can pick that up. Yeah, I'm stoked that we found that uh, that recipe. All right, let's just throw those leaves in there. That's all there is to it. Yeah, see, there's no way I would have found this. Well, I, I shouldn't say no way, but it, was, but it would have been very unlikely that I would have found this without that scanner. So, super useful. And look what's right over there, too. Hot damn. That's not the... Nope, that's not the one we're going for. That's a, another one. Okay, let's go get it. We got a couple of nasty plants, so let's land over here. Well, actually, we'll go get the slug first. I want to use um, turbo for these bigger guys. See, I, I, I'm, I think I'm a fan of the turbo ammo, ammo for the big guys. I like it, but I like the homing ammo for the small guys. So that's kind of my, my verdict on the two rifle ammos, anyways. Of course, what's even better on the big guys is the frickin' uh, rebar explosion, explosive stuff. That's a. Uh, that's just the cat's meow right there, man. Okay, what do you need? You need four. Ah, oh, son of a beech nut. Um, I have smokeless powder, but I didn't bring black powder. Why? I don't know. 
I even said to myself, Self, you should probably grab some black powder too. But of course, did I listen to Self? I did not. Son of a beach. Um, we, we would need coal and sulfur to make it by hand. We only need four. Oh man, that bites. I don't even think there is any sulfur around here. I have no idea. Maybe there is. No, nothing, nothing really close. I mean, yeah, that's almost a kilometer away. Okay, well, we're just going to have to mark this one and come back to it. So it just needs four black powder and that's it. All right, so let's do a new map marker. Uh, no, we were we were using these, right? That's a stamp. Yeah, no, we want a map marker. Okay, and then we were just using the this select image. No, we were using this. Um, and then uh, this is what we put in. So this needs four black powder. All right. Well, we'll have to come back some other time. It's irritating that I didn't listen to self and get some black. I was going to. I, I had intended to, but, you know, road to hell and all that, right? Okay, so let's continue uh, moving north then to that hard drive and see if we can get up here. Oh, shit. Cool. Curious if there's anything up on top of this big pillar. Yep, purple slug. It is a beautiful thing. Okay, cool. Okay, so the drive's going to be that way. Um, there's another big guy down there. I'm just, I, I don't remember. Oh, actually, yeah, it is up high. I can see it way over there. Okay, so we got to stay up high. Um, okay, here we go. Got a bunch of stinky stink plants here. have 21 of these left. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to have a big a big old stack of these explosive bolts and a big old stack of homing ammo and a decent sized stack of turbo ammo. Wait a second. Is that that's a different drive, isn't it? Uh, No, I think it's the right one. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, there are two drives. Okay. There's one down there and this one up here. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and one up there. Good gravy. I'm pretty sure I can't make it up there. 
um, with you know with the jetpack. We're gonna have to. Let's go over and see what these rocks are hiding. We're gonna have to ramp up to that other one though. I'm not seeing. Any slug trails. Oh, that's just blocking the path to get further beyond there. I see. Okay. Can we get one? Oh, there's a yellow slug all the way at the top. I see. Okay. okay let's switch to homing. I'm getting pretty low on this. This is actually good because now I think we can make it over there. Oh, we've got a bad guy somewhere. He was kind of stuck down there. All right, so we need to make it across to there. Pretty sure we can make that happen. Here we go. What do you need? We got all those. Very nice. Okay, now we need to get over to there next, which should be pretty easy to do. Oh, wow, look at that. Strange looking rock formation over there. Uh, let's get back to you. We've got 20 shots left. Oh, wait. I didn't hit that right. Let's try it again. That'll work. Yeah, I think I drove down through here on the Explorer. Oh, look at the poison killing the hogs. I guess that doesn't kick in until the player gets in within range. Yeah, man, that killed a lot of them. Three, four giblets just right over in this area here. Okay, let's check the drive. 40 megawatts. That's two biomass burners. Actually, let's not hook this up yet or it's going to trip the circuit. Um, I got one piece of wood there, one piece of wood there, and let's open it up quick before it 
runs out of power. Okay, so we're up to three drives, plus we have one in the oven too, which will probably be ready any second here. Still got a little bit of space left. And that is our destination down there. Let's get our uh, rebar gun ready. Well, actually, no, I don't see any fart plants down there, so I think we'll be okay. Just kind of looking around here real quick. This can be uh, removed. So we missed a couple spots here, but that's all right. I, I mean, we, we were able to visibly look over there and see kind of what was over there. So I think we're good. All right, let's go down here and grab this stuff. Ooh, that's a big guy. Okay, I want to... Can I get over here? Oh, I guess I already have turbo ammo. Okay. Oh, fucking save. Okay. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun. Uh it's it's a little bit tricky, but it's kind of fun. I dig it. You know, using this um Okay. Motors, we got those. Oh, motors and to 20 megawatts. Okay then. Do I have any biomaterial uh, that I want to burn? Not really. You know what we could do is um, I could set down a crafting station and turn all these animal parts into proteins. That would consolidate some space for us. Oh, it looks like the satellite must open the map, too. Well, that's interesting. Because, okay, let me think about this for a second. This is... Yeah, these are the crater lake areas. The crater lake biome. And just over this cliff down up here, we've got our... Uh, we have our quartz mines, and we have some sulfur down in here. And so I have I have not, in this playthrough anyways, I have not really been... Well, no, I guess I, we did kind of go over here, but I've definitely not been this far over this way. So, yeah, that's really useful that the, the radar tower also removes the fog of war on the map. Very cool. Okay, so... Let's see here. We have uh, we have this area to explore, and then we have you know the far eastern, uh, which most of this over here is is the desert to explore as well. Did I already get the message that our hard drive was finished? Oh, I, I should be looking for that stuff too. I don't remember if I did or not. So let's see. Yeah, I did. Okay, what do we have here? Coded cable. 
It gives us nine, uh, 67 and a half cable per minute. Okay, but I mean, cable's pretty damn easy to make. We don't really need this. Oh, alternate steel coated plate. Hmm. I mean, you know, we've got a bunch of new, really high end stuff that we need to make that might require motors or cables. So, I mean, these could be useful. It's just that I don't really know for sure. So I think I'm going to re-roll until I, until I do know for sure. Right. So, okay. So let's just re-roll this one. So if we're going to go north, we have to go up. Wonder if I could make it up to that ledge. Well, we can we should be able to make it up to this ledge. So we got this far. And if we get a run and a jump, we should be able to get over to here. I mean, I know I can build a ramp too, but if we can do it without building a ramp. That's even better. Some high cliffs. That rock formation over there is really bizarre. This is a neat area. And I think there's some sulfur pretty close by up here, too. Pretty close by. Yeah, this was the one I was thinking of. It's a normal, normal node. All right. Uh, we might be able to get up onto that ledge. Whoops. Can definitely get up on this ledge. Okay, so um, that would probably be the next place to go. We can also, uh, nope, we didn't make it there. Okay, let's hopefully we can get up here before we run out of fuel. Yeah, we got this. Uh, let's go get that slug. And there's a little uranium thingy up here, too. There's a hard drive with a bunch of uranium surrounding it. And there's a purple slug on top of that weird rock formation. But we're going to obviously have to come back with our hazmat suit to get that one. We should mark it, though. So let's do that. There's a purple slug right there, which means there's probably a big ass ginormous spider or three guarding it. Uh, I want to go up here for a minute. Okay, here we go. Another hard drive. Let's unload on these guys. Oh, actually, there's three of them. Why don't we use our... 
why don't we use this? Yeah, run over to the poison. There you go. That's exactly what I meant to have happen. That kind of hurt. Okay, did the poison kill those other guys or did they run off the cliff, I wonder? some AI limiters and 267 watts of power shit <laughs> uh, I mean that's our road is is just right over there that's probably worth our while to just run a line over here I don't want to set up you know that would be like what 10 bio generators almost and then we'd have to fill them all um, that doesn't sound like a good time to me. Let's get rid of this rest of these fart rocks. All right. What? What's guarding that? There's no way a purple slug's just sitting on the forest floor in a flat area for the for the taken without being guarded by something. I don't buy it. Yeah, there's a shit ton of spiders, including a big spider down there. Right. Okay, so... Um, Go over here. I can't sustain that because the spread just gets too bad. I know what we can do. Let's cheese this. Hello, Poppet. Nice. All right, we got the big guy. Let's use this on the little fuckers. Oh no, we're out of ammo. Okay. Second purple slug of the night. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so, um, right on this shelf, a drive that needs 250 uh, plus megawatts and AI limiters. Which we have enough of those. I used the wrong icon, but that's okay, because I'm actually gonna plan on coming right back to get it right now. Just got 
Uh, shit. We just gotta get some power. Alright, so where's my road at? It is... Uh, over that way. Oh, that's a fair distance away. Um... You know what we could do? Now that I think about it. Is we could do this. Let's build, um, you. Because this will give us um, a way to get back here, too. Oh, ma'am, done. Let's look, look at that real quick. Cheap silica. Alternate radio control system. Now, we I know for sure we need to make those, and I know we need to make automated speed wiring. That gives four and a half per minute. I don't remember what we needed for the original recipe on that. Um, that, the automated speed wiring gives seven and a half per minute. But since you know, since I know we need both of those, and this is the more expensive one, I'm guessing that this was probably the better one. Let's let me look this up though before I commit. Okay, so the normal recipe uh, produces one point two five per minute. No, sorry, I'm reading that wrong. It, it produces two and a half per minute. It requires aluminum casing, crystal oscillators, and computers. This one produces four and a half per minute, but it also... Oh, okay, it, repla it substitutes a computer for circuit boards and aluminum casing. Uh, no, so, I'm sorry, circuit boards and rubber. Yeah, I, I think that's a good one because that's four and a half per minute versus two and a half per minute. And even though it uses four inputs instead of three, it's it, it does it, it's cheaper because it doesn't use computers. So I think we're going to go with that one. Okay, it's a done deal. Let's get the next one going. All right, what are we doing? Um, we're getting this. And we're gonna... Uh, just do some towers all the way to our road. Except for I just got disoriented. Which way are we looking? Uh... This way. I can't actually see my road from here. Yeah, I I can kind of see it over there. Okay, yeah, there's the weird rock formation thing. Okay, so, um, no, I'm not going to kill that guy right now. We're kind of getting low on ammo anyways. So let's take you and, uh... Trying to find a spot to put it down at. I would think it'd go farther than that, but maybe not. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go to here. Wait a minute, why didn't you... Why didn't you hook up? Did I... Oh, right. Okay. I did the wrong thing. I'm a noob. But you guys know that. Okay. Yeah, see, it, it goes way farther than that other one was, but... I think... It, oh, shit. 
I think it was just the terrain wasn't yeah, working in our favor. Is this going to bump me off? Nope, guess not. Alright, now we need to go that direction. Hope I have enough materials to get all the way over there. Another purple slug down there. Alright, let's just aim right for that corner. And you guys thought these were just for running power lines. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hard drive up there. Okay, we'll hit that one on the way back. Uh, all right, where's the road? It's right up that way. Can't quite see where it's going to, but this will work. Very good. Now, uh, we just need to find a power line. Well, there's got to be one on the corner because I would have put one on there. Uh, we just need a way to get up there. I don't think I have enough. I don't suppose this is possible, is it? It is possible. <laughs> Huzzah! Let's do it. Damn, I'm good. I'm humble, too. Okay. Yeah, we have a power line right here on the corner. So let's um, connect to there. Oh, actually, though, if we just come straight across, are we going to clip? Yeah. Um, all right, so let's not do that. Instead, what we'll do is we'll... to just yeah there we go we'll come to there and then we'll attach this to there and that should give give us power okay I don't think we need to come back up here so we can take that back down All right, now on the way back, we saw we spotted a hard drive. Where did we spot that? It was somewhere up on one of those pillars. Well, let's go back down. And head back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do... Actually, no, we can get back to that pretty easily. We don't need to run another line. It's amazing how many enemies there are. And, uh, oh, my God. Uh... I don't know if we can do this. Any chance we could luck out and just be able to open it? 
I don't even know what the hell that is. A superposition oscillator? What the hell is that? I don't even know. Okay, well, forget about that thing. A superposition oscillator. There's some nasty dudes up there, too. All right, well, let's just do this, then. Oh, what the hell? Did they shoot rocks at us? I think they did. Let's do a new map marker here. Um, we'll make this the usual. And we're going to call this Super Position Oscillator. <laughs> okay. And again, next time we next time we do an exploration episode like this, I need to remember to bring my gas mask and the hazmat suit. Wire is too long. Okay. All right, whatever. We'll just go up this way. Bam, research is complete. And, hey, how did you get back here? Okay. And we got it. Guess we'll pick the motor up. Uh, supercomputer. Definitely pick that up. Rest of it, not going to worry about. I wonder what the story is behind these things. I mean, obviously... They crashed, and this has, like, the skid mark and everything. I think these are, like, um, the same kind of pod thingy that we send off, you know, when we do milestones. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so... We we can't really get that hard drive until we come back with a hazmat suit because all of those little rock thingies around that one are uranium and it's going to radiate the shit out of us. So. Uh, let's take a look at this. Now, <laughs> uh, just going over to our road, we uncovered a lot of territory, which is awesome. Okay, so we still need to kind of move up through here and look at all of that stuff. Um, this, this is the, uh, oh man, I can never think of what those trees are called. It's like the big ginormous Titan, yeah, Titan forest, um, which I've kind of been around mostly trying to find my way back, you know, home from a trip that we went on a long time ago. But I think the next, the next thing we'll do is we'll, We'll, we'll finish exploring this area and then we'll we'll come back here you know and get this with with some black powder and oh yeah we can remove this now uh remove marker and then um you know start uncovering this area too so I mean that's still a hell of a lot of territory that's probably gonna take us another I would say two to three maybe even four in total, exploration episodes before, you know, 1.0 comes out. Not sure if we'll do that in the next episode. Maybe we will. We'll see. Uh, but I, it is my intention, if we can get to it, you know, to... Well, would you look at that? A purple slug right down... Oh, yeah, but it's right next to a uranium thingy. 
Um, yeah, we definitely have to bring a hazmat suit with us the next time we do this. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here. And um, not exactly sure what we'll do in the next episode. We might do more exploration. We'll see. But I will let you know when that time comes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in. There. Uh, there's a purple slug up there. All right. We got to go get that purple slug before I let you go. Because purple slug, right? Three purple slugs in one episode. Well, actually, this is probably going to be two episodes by the time I'm done editing it. Look how high up we are. This is crazy. Just love this place, though. There's the Titan Forest from a distance. Nifty. Uh, yellow slug down there. All right, so we already did the outro. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. I'm going to go get that yellow slug.